Hello and welcome. My name is Angie Holden and I'm the blogger behind the Country Chic Cottage. Cricut recently released some changes to Cricut Design Space and you might just like them when you get used to them. So instead of weld in the bottom right hand corner, you will see a function that says combine. And under that combine menu, you have weld, just like there always was a weld, but you also have some other options, including unite, subtract, intersect, and exclude. Now what do all those mean? What do they do? We are gonna cover all of that in this video. So this video is just about the change to the weld feature. I will do another video on the changes to the layers panel so you're more familiar with that as well. So let's take a look at using Combine in Cricut Design Space. So let's start with weld. You can still weld two objects. So I'm gonna use these two objects as an example. They're just shapes in Cricut Design Space. If I pick both of these, if I still want to weld, I do combine and then weld. And it's exactly the same as it used to be. So I have one single shape, one single layer, and I can't undo that once I save. I can undo it as long as I haven't saved. So let's go ahead and undo. And let's take a look at the new function. So if I pick both of these, do combine, and do unite instead of weld, I get the same result, however, the layers are just united so I can see both of those layers. And if I was to save it, come back later, I could ununite these. So I could combine and do undo unite. Now if I've united them and I decide I really want them welded together, like I don't ever want them to be separated, I can do merge layers at this point and they will be together in the same way as a weld was. So that's a couple different ways to still get that weld. So now let's say I have these two shapes and I do combine and I do subtract. So let's take a look at what subtract does first of all. If you do subtract, it takes the front piece away from the back. So the front piece cut out this corner off of the triangle. If I was to undo that and move this triangle to the front, pick both pieces and do combine and subtract. Now it took the front triangle out of the back circle. So now I'm left with the circle with the piece cut out. So always remember the piece in front will subtract out of the piece in the back. So how is this different from slice? So let's pick both of these and click slice. Now I get several different results with slice. So I get the same result as the first subtract. I get the same result as the second subtract. And I also get two middle pieces. And these middle pieces are what was left of the triangle and what was left of the circle. And then I could delete off those that I don't want. So the subtract basically is slice, but it goes ahead and removes all those other pieces that perhaps you do not want. There would be occasions where both would be useful, but you might find that these new combined functions are a little bit quicker than using the slice and deleting off all those extra pieces. So now let's look at the rest of the combine functions real quick. We also have intersect and exclude. Intersect gets everything where the two pieces are intersected over one another. And the layers again are the intersection, but you also have the triangle and the circle still there. So you could undo that intersect at any time. And then if we pick both of these and we do combine and exclude, that's everything that does not overlap. But again, it gives us the layers. So we have the exclude layer and the triangle and the circle. So again, it is able to be undone later. Now what happens with these functions when you have more than two layers? As you may know, slice, you can only have two layers. But if I have three layers, I can highlight all of those, click combine, and you can see I still have all of these functions. So I could weld, unite, subtract, intersect, exclude. So let's do the subtract. It subtracts everything that's in the front from the back layer. So you would keep whatever your back layer was. So I'll, if I undo that, you can see that the circle was my back layer. If I highlight everything and do intersect, it tells me that at least a portion of all of the layers must overlap. So let's undo and let's try that again. What if I had all my pieces like this? So every single one of them touches. Now I'll highlight all three combine and intersect. And now it gives me the portion where all three of my pieces intersected. So now let's move them apart and try exclude. So we're going to 
highlight everything and click exclude. And you can see that they don't have to all be touching for exclude. It's everything that is excluded outside of where the pieces touch. So that means with subtract, intersect, and exclude, you can now sort of slice even if you have more than two layers as part of your design. So I did wanna take a look at one more thing. When I pull up this subtract, so you can see that the layer is a subtract layer. If I click each of these other layers, I can still see the objects behind what I subtracted. The circle object is actually whole in this case because it was the object on the bottom. But if I click subtract, I'll see what it would actually cut. So even if I'm on this circle and I click make it, click on the mat, click confirm, it's still giving me the layer that is the subtracted layer, not the layer I had selected. So if I wanted to undo everything and just cut the circle, I would need to highlight this, combine, and undo the subtract in order to cut the full circle. So now you have several ways to combine as well as subtract objects out of one another right within Cricut Design Space to make your designs for your Cricut machine. So for those of you that were asking for an editable weld feature once you save, Unite is here to save the day. So hopefully after this video, you see that the combined menu is actually a really cool feature in Cricut Design Space and has tons of potential when it comes to using Design Space to design projects for your Cricut machine. Now I use shapes in my example, but you can use this feature with text. You can use this feature with images, projects, anything in Cricut Design Space, even things you upload could be used with this menu. So now all that's left is for you to start designing in Cricut Design Space and using your Cricut machine. So if you have any questions about the combined menu or anything we talked about today, drop down in the comment section, ask away. If this video helped you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, head on over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. We have videos just like this one every single week and trust me, you don't wanna miss any of those. So thank y'all so much for joining me and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.